Welcome and thanks for joining us at WICC.org for In the Loop, the after show. Our guests, Ralph Martiri, Executive Director of the Center of Tax and Budget Accountability, author and historian Leslie Goddard, and Chicago Sun-Times columnist Mary Mitchell. Thank you for joining us. Thank you. Now, the state's highest ranking and most popular Republican senator this week changed his position on gay marriage. Senator Mark Kirk said his near-death experience with a stroke made him realize that what matters most is who you love and who loves you. And he said he was also inspired by watching the movie Lincoln and that president's fight for civil rights. I'm just wondering, Mary, how seismic a shift is this? Do you think other Republicans will follow suit? I think this is huge because the fact that uh, Senator Mark Kirk made this decision, has changed his position, it makes it okay for other Republicans who may have wanted to change their position, but, you know, they're holding the party line. He's changed the party line, at least in Illinois. So I think this is going to be actually huge. Leslie, do you agree? I agree. I agree. And putting it in the context, I think, of the civil rights movement is a, is a really positive step because I think that this is on a trajectory similar to what we've seen in the past in different civil rights movements. So it's nice to see. Uh, I think this is, this is where we're heading, and uh, it's nice to see every step in the right direction. Right. And Ralph, what about here in Illinois? Do you think we know that the Illinois legislature has not been able to pass this legislation? Do you think this will push it over the line or not? Well, I think it absolutely helps. I mean, you have to applaud Senator Kirk. I think one of the most difficult things any politician can do is publicly say, I was wrong. This is where we need to go on a big issue. And this is not one that's going to necessarily endear him to a lot of his constituents. And right. so I think it was a very bold thing for Senator Kirk to do. I think it was the right thing for him to do. And I do think it will have an impact in the process in Springfield to the extent that anything impacts the process in Springfield. I'm wondering if this vote comes up sooner rather than later with this new development? Sooner, probably sooner. Uh, I think it's, it's just a breakthrough. And so I think that definitely it's going to be moving down the track a lot faster than it was originally. Yeah, and if you think bigger picture, I mean, Senator Kirk has a lot of other justifications for it. I mean, if you're going to talk about a very conservative or liberal view of America, the American dream at the end of the day is that your innate characteristics, the circumstances of your birth, don't dictate your rights or what your future can be. And I think he's acknowledging that here and say, wait, this is an innate characteristic that has been dictating a limitation of right. We shouldn't have that. But it also speaks to the evolution of an issue. You know, I mm -hmm. mean, people may have started off uh, here and it got bigger and bigger and they begin to, their, their vision got wider and they begin to see a different side of it. And I think that's what happened with Kirk. He was able to, because of his own experience, near death experience, he was able to step back and take a wider view of it and I, I think that's what has to happen on any issue. Yeah, I was thinking about it was a hundred years ago that women in Illinois got the right to vote in 1913 and uh, Illinois was a very significant state. It was the first large population state that did that and uh, Grace Wilbur Trout who was the leader of the movement in Illinois she said we have to applaud the politicians who change their mind because fools never change their right. mind. It's the <laughs> wise men who evolve and, and uh, change. Terrific quote on a less momentous piece of legislation. Uh, here in Illinois, a state representative, Dan Kirk, has proposed a, a bill that would ban dogs from the driver's seat. You'd have to keep your pooch <laughs> off off your lap. And uh, Leslie, yeah, I know you're a dog. <laughs> My owner. pugs will not be happy about that. <laughs> I know, I know. But you know, that's so funny because they want to be with you. It's it's like they're like little kids, and you want to give them what they want. And sometimes, it, it you speaks, know, it's best not it to. It speaks to politics in Illinois. They can get dogs out the driver's seat, but they can't get anybody to get off the diamond. <laughs> you know? yeah. I mean, really, it just really speaks to how the yeah. politics. Ralph, is this a, a case of a, a, legis a legislator with too much time on his yeah, I was going to say he needs a hobby because uh, <laughs> it, it, there's, a, there's a lot that needs done in Springfield right now that are really important issues that impact the quality of life for absolutely everybody in our state, and I really think this is not one of them. You do see it all the time, though. We I mean, do. if it's illegal to drive with a cell phone to your ear, what makes it less distracting to drive with a dog in your lap? Right. It's just silly. I mean, Distracted it's just driving. Silly yeah. Do we need to regulate uh, common sense? Maybe. But right. then. I don't know. Maybe we need Sometimes a rule saying do. where you put your backpack, uh, whether or not you can hold your coffee <laughs> your with coffee, your left or your right, right hand. Right, I mean, exactly. you know, at some juncture, it really, it really just gets you off point. And I, it, once it 
if we were moving along swimmingly on everything in Illinois, then fine, go have these kinds of discussions. But right now, talk about your fiscal condition, talk about your capacity to fund your pensions, talk about funding a quality education for all children. That, that should be the focus of what they're doing, and this is just a diversion and not a good one. As you said before, uh, that dog won't hunt. Right? <laughs> uh, thanks again, Ralph Montieri, Leslie Goddard, and Mary Mitchell. Until next week, good night.